Hi, welcome back to your Discovery Destination Tour. It's Barry again. You know, one of the most common questions we get asked by all of the people looking to come here for a home or a relocation or even a, a vacation is, what's the education system like in, in, in the Dominican Republic? I've heard so many things and without any further delay, I want to let two people, let's keep it natural, I want to let two people introduce themselves. They are two instructors of what I deem the highest quality school in this area of the country. I personally know the owner and there's no favoritism involved at all. I want to make that perfectly clear. However, they do yield the highest quality education and their students do place highest amongst the whole North Coast. Without any further delay, I'd like you to introduce yourselves and we'll ask some general questions. Hi, I'm Lauren Gabriel, a teacher from Maine. I just got here in August 2011. My name is Justin Mayu. I've been at the Academia for three years now and I'm going to stay another year. <laughs> Lauren, Justin, let me ask you something. One of the most common questions we're getting from people that are considering the North Coast as a destination or a second home is the quality of education. Um, can you guys briefly explain how the system works? What differentiates and makes you guys better than the public education system? And how can foreign children get equal or better quality education than they do out in the Western world? Well, first of all, we are, uh, we're an international school, so we actually teach in English. You know, whether it be science or math or any subject, every subject is taught in English. So the child is immersed and then little by little will speak English if he wants to or not. So this is my third year and then I remember kids when I first got here, they didn't know anything about English and now they're, they're fluent, you know, they understand everything. I teach them science and English, there's no problem there. I mean, it's... It's they, they really they really learn fast because everybody's in the same situation that you know maybe we have we have a couple of foreign kids too that they already knew English but if you throw in the Dominican locals that they know they didn't they didn't know as much and then with those American kids they just kind of they grow together and then they grow up speaking English and learning Dominican curriculum. I think it's important to recognize that the Dominican Republic is pretty much just like any other country in the world. There's some very poor establishments as far as education goes. And then there's some excellent opportunities and schools out there if that's what you are seeking. You know, some people care a little less and some people care a lot more. So of course you're gonna be able to find a little spot for everybody and everybody in between as well. Let me ask you, what spots, speaking of that, what options are open to actually families bringing their children in from the Western world and Europe that may not speak so much Spanish? Well, in our school, there it's absolutely no problem because we have a mixed staff of Spanish-speaking natives and English-speaking uh, native language, French, for example, Swedish. So um, it's really not a problem. There's, and we're not the only school that speaks English. So it's there's options all over the country for people who are coming here and don't speak Spanish. So that really shouldn't be a deterrent then if a family is considering a visit and a possible second home or relocation that their children don't speak Spanish. That really shouldn't be a, a big problem like they appear to make it. In past years we've had kids that just joined the school that literally knew not one word of English and then, you know, time time and effort and then eventually, you know, they, they, they catch on pretty fast. And the reverse with Spanish. Uh, if they come here only speaking English, they're immersed in amongst the Spanish-speaking children and they learn Spanish really quickly as well. Is there any truth to it? The younger the child is, the easier it is to teach them. Is there any truth, being, both being professionals, is that true? I would say the younger the child, the easier for him or her to learn a language. And yes. retain language yes. as well. What advice would you, as experienced people that actually live in the country full-time, what advice would you give to people that just want to consider this? I mean, w would it be something just come on down and get to meet you guys at the school or meet the owners or have an interview? Uh, how would you go about doing it if it was you? I would tell people that they should absolutely not make education a deterrent for coming to this country because there are ex excellent options available for their children no matter what the age is. Yeah, our students are, are definitely not, you know, slackers or by any means, but we had one student that went to the National Olympics 
academic Olympics. So, I mean, he's wow. representing the school, and, and this is on the national basis. First, it was Cabrera, and then it was the whole province, and then now he went to the nationals. So, and he's you know just a kid right here, regular kid, but you know the we teach we teach just like you would in America. I mean, the education here is I've worked in America too, and I mean it's it's pretty much the same thing. What about you're from Europe? You're from America. As far as cost of education, that's another popular subject that we're touching with a lot of viewers. Um, how would that rank um, uh, as compared to some of the prices back in uh, the Western world are <laughs> exorbitant for for education? I mean, the uh, you know the cost of living in Cabrera obviously is not the same as you know living in New York or California. So you can't really compare the cost of obviously it's going to be cheaper here than it would be over there, but. Um, I think we pride ourselves in taking like all the kids that even the parents, you know, have no money or have little money, but you know, there's always sponsors or mom can come work at school or dad can fix up the yard or do like this. And that's, that's a way for them to pay for the kids to come receive a good education because, you know, they might not have the funds. So that's one way of doing it. Yeah, we, our school makes the quality education available to people of all backgrounds. So that's not a problem, but in comparison to the United States and Europe, it's going to be laughably less than it is there. So that's not going to be an issue. I've just been informed before we started this film some wonderful news that being a resident of Cabrera fills my heart with happiness. Please, you guys tell us about the partnership, about the education firm out in the West that you guys have, are working together with. Can you fill us in a little bit about that? That sounds exciting. Our school has just teamed up with the Pear Blossom School that was started in California, I think, about 10 years ago. Um, so now, bring a more cohesive and totally international program and curriculum. Um, in addition to having electives such as Spanish and social studies for the Dominican Republic. So we're really just taking our international school to the next level with this quality program that's proven to work for so many years. In closing, is uh, for people that want to get in touch with the school, can you guys just give us uh, and put it on air your uh, email and your website for the school so any of the viewers that might have any questions before they even come down here, they can get a hold of you guys at the school? Say Academia? Academia Internacional de Cabrera. De Cabrera. There you have it. and. I, I know the owner, they'll be glad to get back to you with any questions, concerns, and thank you guys so much for sharing your time with us. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. And I really, uh, really applaud you for the effort you're doing. You're doing a wonderful job with the community. We'll continue next, so discover your destination. Go to drescapes.com and sign up for one of our free discovery tours of the north coast of the Dominican Republic. While you're on the website, be sure and download our free guide explaining exactly how you can gain residency and a second passport in the Dominican Republic.